Hi everyone, as I'm sure you know, there's a massive new feature coming to Blender called Geometry Nodes, which essentially allows for the building and modification of geometry with the use of a node tree, very similar in design to how the shader nodes work. In November of last year, I did a video introducing Geometry Nodes and showing you where you can keep track of the updates and information. A lot has happened since then, they've been continuously working on the project, and if you want to give it a try for yourself, then you can grab a copy of the Experimental 2.93 Alpha from the Blender website. Of course, if you're watching this video at a later time, then the downloadable build will probably be different. Anyway, in this video I wanted to provide you with some inspiration by showing you a collection of Geometry Nodes projects that different members of the community have been working on, in the hopes that it might encourage you to start experimenting with new features yourself. First of all, I really want to draw some attention to Erindale, who has recently done a two-hour livestream providing an introduction to Geometry Nodes and a breakdown of their recently created graphics EQ effect for audio visualization. The live stream is chapter marked if there's a specific part you want to watch or come back to at a later time. Just for reference, live streams like this take place on Erin's own Discord server, which tends to have a focus on procedural content, discussions, resources, etc. So if that sounds like something you might be interested in, then you might want to hop in and take a look. Also, very recently, they've put out a 20 minute video talking about how the attribute system works with geometry nodes. Attributes are essentially just variables or collections of data that can be referenced and modified. This is very useful for modifying things like the position, rotation and scale of objects. You might also be interested in taking a look at some of the other experiments and demos that Erin has been posting on Twitter, because some of them are pretty crazy, everything from architectural modeling to a walking spider, so I'll give you a pre-warning to all the arachnophobes out there. Twitter has been a hotbed for amazing Geometry Nodes demos, and it's very cool to see the sheer variety of creations that the community can come up with when presented with new tools like this. I suppose that's one of the other key things about letting community members play with features before they're completely finished or stable. They can raise attention for them and provide feedback from an artistic perspective. Take a look at this mind-blowing demonstration by Sakura. It's a surprisingly realistic plate of food with a wide variety of controls. Imagine how long it would take if you needed to model and manually place each of these details by hand. With geometry nodes, you can expose values that let you control the graph through the modifier stack. And this could, of course, include a seed value for randomization if that's what you want. Naturally, you can see the potential for procedural content creation with this. Not even just for modeling, but also for composition, design, and all kinds of visual effects and motion graphics. Things that once almost required Python to generate within a decent time frame can now effectively be done on a shader graph with relative ease, of course with the appropriate knowledge. Take a look at this other example by Miro, who has created an effect representing a V-shaped flock of birds. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that would like to use this for their environmental compositions. They provided a 4 minute breakdown video, so it's quick and easy to digest. And of course, as you can see, given the procedural nature of the nodes, there are a variety of parameters available that will let you control the shape of the formation. There are other Geometry Nodes videos on their channel, so it might be worth taking a look at those. Charon from Just 3D Things has also just released a brick surface generator for Geometry Nodes on Gumroad. They have been doing a lot of work with tiling surfaces recently with the regular shader nodes, but now they've been adapting that for regular geometry as well. As a side note, if you've been looking for a tool for creating tiled surface effects for your materials, then you'll likely find their tile kit product pretty useful, because it lets you generate all kinds of tiled patterns. Up next we have Benny on Twitter, who has been doing some really cool looking floral elements. And to be honest, I think this is one of the major use cases and driving factors behind the project. Being able to quickly generate and scatter large numbers of slightly different versions of things very quickly. And being able to build up different biomes of mesh content, if you like, that could populate an entire scene. They've been putting out quite an interesting variety of Geonodes experiments, one in particular I liked was this fractal tree. Now if you would like some more inspiration, let's head over to Sketches for Humanity, who's created I think one of the coolest looking demos so far, at least for my taste. You know how I like glowing blue things. There's this holographic kind of force field proximity effect, it looks really cool, they provide a 20 minute breakdown of the effect on their YouTube channel, and it seems like this demo would be easily adaptable into a wide range of other proximity effects, so that's definitely one to try out. They have other Blender related YouTube videos on their channel if you're interested in taking a look. Okay, so if you want a good demonstration of how Geometry Nodes is going to change the way people approach repeating yet variable structures in Blender, then all we need to do is take a look at this procedural tree demonstration by Blender Things. I don't really know what to say about this other than it's brilliant, but that's the power of proceduralism. Not even just procedural generation, but also the procedural modification of pre-existing objects. From the looks of it, they've also ended up putting this demo on Blender Market, so it's there if you want to dissect it and break it down. I also thought this crowd simulation was a pretty good example of how even simple scattering techniques can be applied to such a wide range of uses. So yeah, those are just a selection of cool Geometry Nodes demonstrations that I hope have inspired you to give it a try for yourself. Before we close this video up, I just want to let you know that my ambient grunge node for Blender has been updated to version 3, which includes a host of new parameters and controls for achieving fast grunge and dirt effects for your materials. You can find out more at curtisholder.online forward slash ambient grunge. 
So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I'll see you next time.